Welcome to episode 3 of YouTube News, where I cover some of the biggest stories on YouTube. I'm a bit late, but today I'll be covering the month of September since there were several big developments. At the start of the month on September 4th, Warner Bros. released the long-awaited trailer for the Minecraft movie, which has been in development since 2014. Before the trailer was released, we were informed that the movie would be in live action. Many of us thought that it was a strange choice not to make it animated, but that they could probably still make it work. Well, they didn't. The trailer was in live action, but the landscape landscape and mobs were CGI, with most people finding them uncanny. On top of that, the story looks like a bland Jumanji knockoff and Steve is just Jack Black in a blue shirt. So it wasn't that surprising that the trailer got almost 2 million dislikes. Hopefully they can save the movie, but it doesn't seem likely. What's probably crazier than that though is that only two days later, Nick Akato Avocado, a YouTuber notorious for overeating and being morbidly obese, released a video explaining and showing how he lost 250 pounds over the course of two years and that he was hiding that fact by uploading pre-recorded videos until now. There he also says, I am always two steps ahead. Naturally, the video went viral, getting almost 50 million views and becoming by far Nick's most viewed video. However, some people suspected that the whole video was deep faked, especially after they found a video of an obese Nick Akato saying that he tricked millions of people into thinking the two steps ahead thing was real. I made a YouTube video and I said, Two steps ahead. But in reality, the original version of that video was made over two years ago and was referring to a time he said that quote earlier. Later in the month on September 10th, PlayStation announced that they were releasing the PS5 Pro, which should have better graphics, frame rate, and ray tracing, but many people watching the demos pointed out that they could hardly notice any changes at all. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. What am I looking at here? There is also no standard disc reader that comes with the console, and worst of all, it's a whole $700, so it makes a lot of sense that the new announcement got tons of backlash. That same day, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris went on their first ever debate against each other, getting the attention of millions of Americans to various YouTube live streams. According to most people, Harris won the debate partially because Trump said some interesting things, like how immigrants are supposedly eating pet Pets, like dogs and cats, which kind of became a meme. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. Lastly, on September 16th, Mr. Beast teamed up with Logan Paul and KSI to make a new brand to compete with Lunchables called Lunchly. It has similar nutritional value to Lunchables and normally wouldn't cause much backlash, but since Mr. Beast has been under fire and accused of many things over the last couple of months, of course people found the worst of it and hated on Jimmy more. Also, the famous YouTuber Dan TDM made a tweet saying that Jimmy is selling crap to kids just to make money without benefiting any fans. This is debatable, but that tweet went viral, making the situation even worse for Jimmy. There are other new stories, like KSI's new unpopular song Thick of It and the hurricanes in Florida, but that mostly happened in October, so that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching episode 3 of YouTube News, and see you next time.